following up on non-inflammatory um, pain question. I have chronic pelvic floor muscle pain, tailbone pain, bladder pain. My CRP was less than 0 0.3. My understanding is um, this could be, and I think she meant to write neuro, um, uh, now I can't. Neuropathy? <laughs> neuropathy pain, but I'm not sure. Thank you. Um, you can take LDN for um, neuropathic pain. It, it's used very well. And and I think you would be a good candidate. I mean, I know your CRP isn't high. Um, Janine, what were you going to say? I think maybe if she has been told by somebody it's been neuroplastic pain, that's when it's caused by sort of learned neuropathways. So I would imagine that a CBD approach might be quite useful in that. Um, and something like mind therapy might be quite good or even going to see a pain psychotherapist that's quite a common thing I think in the states I think I would be tending to look at that if the CRP is as low as that and it is non-inflammatory but I'm not sure if the chronic pain floor muscle the chronic pelvic floor muscle pain I'm sure there'll be some type of inflammation in there that will be causing that pain but I would certainly say that maybe a mind a therapy might be worthwhile looking at in a situation like that. And it may be that, um, especially when you're dealing with pelvic floor muscle issues, sometimes as the tissues atrophy with age, you can actually have a surfacing of neurons. And so those nerves can be close to the surface. And so you may need to build those tissues. Uh, this could be from a, an injury uh, mm -hmm. and it could be from uh, even the use of like a pessary or a diaphragm or, or something like that. And sometimes even just having those tissues so thin and so weak can contribute to this as well, especially when you're dealing with bladder. So mm -hmm. everything is so close together right there. Um, LDN would help, but I think that there's going to be other medications. And you brought up amitriptyline before. We actually compound amitriptyline, sometimes even with a little bit of gabapentin and, and mm -hmm. naltrexone, just a tiny bit of naltrexone. And we use that in a vaginal suppository so that it can go into the vaginal vault, dissolve, and literally the medication will transverse and work in the bladder, but it will also kind of go around to the rectum as well because yeah. everything is so close right there. It, it does really help. That also might help with that called the multi-layer issue mm -hmm. associated with neither neuroplastic or neuropathic pain. Yeah, I've seen a lot of PT done and then using the suppository with like diazepam even prior to like some type of vaginal PT and had really good success with that. 